Focus is one of the most important adjustments we can make to a lens. It's not just pro shooters, but anybody who shoots a lot of pictures prefers to have their images in focus and sharp. I'm sure we've all had the experience where we take an image and it looks great in the viewfinder and perhaps even on the screen at the back of the camera. But when we get it home and look at it on the computer, we notice the focus is just a little off. Perhaps we're shooting a model and we focus on the eye, but when we get it home and on the computer, we notice that the nose is more in focus. With the Sigma USB dock, we're able to actually adjust the focus at home. And with this one small adjustment, we can really make a lens that is truly personalized for your shooting style. First, click on Customization. Then, click on Focus Settings at the top of the Customization menu, and this will take you to the Focus Setting Adjustment screen. And now, we can make the adjustment. For zoom lenses, you can set the focus for four focusing distance ranges, and also for shooting distance ranges for a total of 16 different ranges. If you do a focus setting adjustment on the camera itself, that affects the focus in every single range. But with the Sigma USB dock, you can make some really fine focus setting adjustments. OK, let's try actually making an adjustment for a zoom lens. Click on the cell of the range you'd like to adjust. In this case, let's adjust the settings for the focus distance of 150 millimeters and the shooting distance of 10 meters. After you've made the selection, you can adjust the settings using the spin box at the top or the slider underneath. To shift the focus towards the front, move the settings towards the minus side. And to shift towards the back, move the settings towards the plus side. The key to using this setting is to compare photographs of the same scene before and after you've made the adjustments. Click the rewriting button and then the agree button to process the customization. Once the rewriting finishes, the confirmation dialog box will appear. Click close and the customization is complete. Now, take some more photographs to see if the change is working for you. Keep adjusting until you have the focus settings exactly the way you want them. All of this sounds very involved and like a lot of hard work. And it is. I wish there was a way to do this all automatically, but really, the best judge of what is right for you and your lens is you. So at the end, all the effort will be worth it when you have pin-sharp images and a truly personalized lens.